welcome to our film about the framework knitters. We're going to tell you about our origins, our work today, and especially what we do for knitting students. But let's begin at the beginning. is I'd like you to tell me how you got into knitting and why knitting appeals to you. Well, I didn't actually ever think knitting would appeal to me. Um, I'm hugely impatient, um, but I tried it in my second year of my BA and it just clicked. I think there's something about the intricacy and um, and knowing that you've created every stitch yourself. The making of the fabric yourself. Yeah, I think I've really come to appreciate the process. Thank you, Abby. That, that's a good point. So tell me, Caitlin, if you were to win one of our £2,000 bursaries, what would you do with the money and how would it change the way you're using your creative talents? So if I won the bursary, I'd really like to invest in some really beautiful luxury yarns. Caitlin, one of the things that we're looking for is a good understanding of the knitting medium. First of all, a couple of shade cards there. I'd like you just to have a brief look at them and uh, uh, or which product's got the better wool in it. So, so this I'm, one. That's true, yeah, that's fine. Finally, uh, have a look at that. What do you make of the, the uh, material that's being used for that sock? It's cotton, but it's really soft. Is there some cashmere in it as well? Good answer. Actually, no. Uh, it's uh, Egyptian organic cotton, mm. hence the very soft handle. Mm. But yes, if you, you could easily have thought there was cashmere mm. present in it. A very good answer. Thank you very much indeed. The history of English knitwear is an amazing story of inventiveness, creativity, poverty and riots. Queen Elizabeth I even put in an appearance, but most importantly, part of that history started right here in Nottinghamshire. Hi, my name's Tim Clark. I'm technical manager at John Smedley. I take care of all the yarn procurement and all the fibre procurement. When the yarn arrives in John Smedley, the first thing we've got to make sure is that the yarn is at the right condition with the right friction so it will knit efficiently and effectively. So as we'll now see, we'll see the yarn passing through the yarn tension devices over a lick roller, which carries a liquid which is based from ester oil and water, which has been made into a true solution. This, this solution helps us maintain a low friction and a high moisture content. So now we're in the potty rib section. Basically the potty knitting machine knits a rib and then automatically transfers every stitch, needle for needle, point for point, to make it look like that this rib has been grown on into the next section into the fully fashioned knitting shed.
Well, we've just seen Ken expertly showing the fully fashioned frame that shows the rib being transferred on and then the frame knitting into the rib to create the main body of the fabric. Nicola and I'm a linker, so we have to make sure that we go in a straight whale and I'm going to fix the front onto it next in a straight line. So every little needle has a stitch on it and we have to get through the centre of the stitch. We've got a slack course that sh shows us, guides us where to go. And when we've sewn it through, we have to get rid of all the excess on the top by unloving it. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the final pressing stage. This is where the garment is pressed and finished and then goes into pack. And at every stage of that press they check to make sure that the garment's in full symmetry, that the garment's totally symmetrical, that it's pressed without glaze and that it matches the specification to size. So here we are, we're now to go into the final packing department. This has just recently been automated and we're going to see Zoe and Diane packing on the new machine. The machine will fold, fold again and then present into the final packed bag. Apply the care label, size label, ready to be boxed for the final warehouse. Hello, welcome to All Socks. My name's George Turner, and today we want to show you how we make socks. Well, this is a sock machine. At present, making a, a cotton product, you'll notice the toe and the top are both open. At this point, the machine is making the heel of the sock. You will note it does this with a reciprocating motion. Okay, we've got a pair of socks now. Shall we go and have a look at the next part of the process? Okay, well you've seen the knitting process. The next part of the process is the turning and the toe closing. Um, the socks are turned inside out and then they go along a conveyor where the toe, which I was showing you earlier, um, is, is open. So we've got to go and seal that toe, and this is that process. The socks are now on the forms. They come round in pairs where steam is applied to them, and this allows the sock to shrink back onto the board and get a nice finish into a drying cabinet where excess condensation, which does form during the process, is dried from the product. Hello, I'm Richard Webster. This is Shima Seiki. We are the world's leading flatbed knitting manufacturer. This is our sample area where you can see various designs that were made on all of our machines. And then we have other garments we can make from our whole garment machinery. So this dress, as you can see, is knitted in one complete piece. Uh, we also make design systems, uh, printing and cutting equipment for the textile knitwear industry. Now we're going to go through to our design department. Thanks Richard. Hi, my name's April. I'm armour designer here at Shima Seiki. So this is the SDS1 Apex 3 Shima design system, which is unique to Shima. So it's basically an all-in-one design system, so we can do knit, print and weave, and obviously repeating it to the side, things like this as well, so I don't just have to stick with just one. So as simple as that, I've created a design that I like, and then what I can do is I can actually split the screen, and I can see the design side and the technical side of what's actually going to go to the machine like this so I could choose the material that we looked at earlier and I can actually put it onto a garment and see exactly how it's going to look before I make it into my own garment that and I can do it in different materials as well 
so I can do it in different colours, so I can create different colourways like this before choosing exactly what colour I want to choose. Hi, I'm Tom and this is the Mac 2 XS machine. I'm a sample development technician and today I'm creating the first prototype of a t-shirt. This machine is capable of doing whole garment technology, which is seam-free knitting. Okay, so this machine is capable of knitting um, seam-free garments, which are then ready to wear once washed. The combox then moves the needles up and down, which creates the knitting. If we look further down at the bottom of the machine, we can see the finished product here, which is then coming out of the bottom of the machine. Master, Sir David, if you are ready, please may we proceed with the presentation of the parchments. May I present Caitlin Charles Jones of the Royal College of Art, who is the recipient of a Framework Knitter's Bursary. Having received my bursary award from the Framework Knitters, here I am at Cockpit Arts. This is my studio space and it's changed my business enormously. Each season I produce ready-to-wear women's wear collections and it all starts here in my studio with these yarns and these machines. Press and buyers love coming to the studio to see how everything's made, to see the machines. Throughout the start of my new business, I still have support from the Framework Knitters. I have mentoring sessions regularly and any help I need, they're there for me. So I would really encourage any young students, any young knitters to get in touch. You never know how they might be able to help you. 